This playthrough is rated T for teen. Harry, I've reached the bottom. Greetings and salutations, viewers. While we're back here with another episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. In the last episode, we finally left middle management and head to the bottom. Who knew that the bottom was the way to go? I am definitely a bottom. Greet <laughs> and, uh, oh, I was about to say something else, but anyway. Uh, no, let's try that again. Sorry. Reset. I don't want that. <clears throat> <clears throat> it's time to get to the bottom of this. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valnor we're back here with another episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. In the last episode, we finally dealt with middle management and reached the bottom. Well, I never thought those are the words that anyone would ex aspire to, but here we are. So now we just have to figure out where to go to next. Figure out about more about, you know, our origins as being Overmen, or at least that Overmen was the one we were trying to find, trying to find our father and everything like that, but we gotta deal with this posh society here, so. Uh, let's see, so first we have to try and figure out how to get into this club, but we need a sponsor, so we need to find a lady in a pink, uh, outfit, but let's see if this guy can be bribed. Excuse me. Would you like this present? My advice is to keep quiet. Yeah. Okay, then. Nothing for her. Oh, there's Excuse me. Let's talk to her, the lady in the... Hello, darling. I don't believe we've met. No, I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Pierrot. But you can call me Danielle. I'm trying to forget who, who they're trying to bait, the base their character off of. Uh... You know, it, it reminds me of old uh, actresses from the 50s and passwords, you know, fabulous, darling, fabulous, you know, like Zsa Zsa Gabor and stuff like that. That might be who they're referencing, maybe, so. Man, we need to get sponsorship, but let's ask her some other questions. How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? There's nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Ooh, how ghastly for you, my dear. How droll. What's the mutt's name? Well, really? He's not a mutt. His name is Spunky. Let me guess, he's like a purebred or something like that, right? Just, except not really. He looks just like his owner. What do you mean by that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> he's no oil painting, is he? Well, really? Spunky is my faithful companion. I've got a little companion, too. Oh, really? Where? He's right here in my pocket. And what do you mean by that? It's the circuit board for my best friend. A robot called Joey. Yeah, you thought that was going to go somewhere uh, uh, more, uh, more nasty, huh? Would you sponsor me for the club? Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Why not? As you said yourself, you're a stranger. Why? You could be a terrorist. No, no, it's out of the question. Hey, outsider, immediately terrorist. Excuse me. Can we bribe you? Would you like this present? No, thank you, darling. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything else we can actually offer her. Excuse me. Would you like... No, no I don't think so. <clears throat> Excuse me. Would you like... No. Okay, didn't think so. Excuse me. <clears throat> Alright, so we actually have to mention we're Overman or relate to Overman to get sponsored, so... Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. Meet me at my apartment. Do I want to? I guess we have to, so, alright, here are apartments on the other side, so, yeah, there's that elevator where you can press a button, but we couldn't do anything about it, because <clears throat> we didn't have any, it's one of those apartments where you have to call someone, and then, uh, 
uh, you know, and then you buzz, and then they buzz you, and basically kind of like, Oh, come to mommy, Spunky. I guess we have to wait for the dog to uh, appear, kind of like Joey. They, you know, they have their own set of uh, coordinates. I wonder how long it does take for the dog to get here. Now we play the waiting game. Seriously, what is the dog's AI like script like? It wasn't that far behind. There it is. All right. Oops. Better. We're gonna slow this thing down if we stand in front of the dog. Surprised they gave the characters in the game awareness. You know, like uh, interactive. Oh, come to mommy, Spunky. There we go. Yeah, we had to wait for that to happen. So, all right. It's the call button for an apartment. Hello. Who is this? Huh. Your pizza, madam. What kind of pizza? Quattro formaggi with olives and chilies. My favorite. But I'm on a diet. Oh, that didn't work. All right. Hello. Security, open up. Mrs. Piermont is not at home. Mrs. Piermont is not at home. Uh, well, that was a nice try. All right, let's go with the, uh... Hello. Uh, oh, there we go. It's the dog warden. What are you talking about? I've had complaints about your dog. He's a health risk, madam. I'm not opening the door, so go away. Yeah, she's not gonna budge. Hello? She thinks she'd find this annoying by this point, but, yeah. It's me, Robert. Come right in, Rob. I've been scared silly by cranky visitors. Yeah, someone who just keeps uh, <coughs> bugging her every second. Welcome to my humble little home, Robert. Yeah. Do you know? I remember you as a baby, Robert. I've grown a bit since then. I'm sure you have. You must have so many questions to ask me. Yes, I have. So let's uh, <coughs> excuse me. So let's ask her a bit of it, a little bit of everything. So see what uh, see maybe she can get some exposition on here. What was the professor working on? Didn't I tell you? Helmet was the designer of Link. It was his dream, but he died before it was realized. Your father became the project leader. Oh, really? So my dad was responsible for Link? Yes. He stepped into Helmut's shoes. Link reached completion on the very day you were born. From then on, Richard changed. He spent more time with Link than he did with his wife and baby. Now, got, got so into his work, you know. Why did my mother try to escape? But she did her best to cope. But she wasn't the same after Richard's rejection. The authorities never approved of her marriage either. Because she came from Hobart. Eventually, she decided to return home. So the bastards had her killed. You're overwrought, Robert. Would you like some paracetamol? I don't want analgesic. I want answers. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, but, uh... Is my father still alive? I've not seen him since my husband's funeral. What a magnificent occasion. I wish I could have stayed until the end. You walked out of your husband's funeral? I had no choice. Poor Spunky hates cathedrals. All that incense and droning makes him bilious. No sooner had I got him outside than up 
came his breakfast. It's a good thing he didn't chuck in church. Don't interrupt, darling. Well, when I got back, they were all gone. Congregation, choir, coffin and all. Yeah, I think that's a send out chuck in church, right? Why didn't you want to visit the club? The memory is too painful. Did you go there with the professor? Yes. We met in a club. Oh, he was a handsome young graduate. And I was a flower in my first bloom. He plucked me from the Garden of Innocence. I see what you mean. The memories are painful. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I was about to say, I don't know if she was over this plucky innocent girl, but who knows? We all we all were innocent at one point, I guess. Are you gonna sponsor me now? No, if that's what you want. I'll telephone the manager and make the arrangement. This won't take a moment. Is that Mr. Coulson? Daniel Piermont. I have a friend I wish to sponsor. Alright, we can uh, mess around while she's talking. Did she really? Let's see, cut out to her. We're supposed to basically distract the dog at this point uh, to get some stuff, but let's... Uh... It's full of biscuits and dog drool. If I pick up the bowl, the contents will slop all over my hands. Yeah, but this is a time section for purposes of... We can still get her to talk on the phone eventually, later, but... Now that looks comfortable. I'm clicking on everything. I better not sit. She might take advantage of me. Alright, so basically, this part can't be done unless you go to Lamb's apartment by this point. It's an ancient Greek statue made of fiberglass. Nothing I could use that statue for. All right, let's see. These big wall screens certainly are popular. It's another of those easy to program machines, which select the record time and channel at random. Yeah, I don't even think None I remember. The buttons do what you'd expect them to. I don't even think I remember how to set a VCR. It's been so long since I've had to do that. That was that was a pain back in the day. You had this big old guide to like go through VCRs just to set the time, for goodness sakes. All right, so this point on, unless we've gone to Lamb's apartment and got his stuff, we can't continue on. We've already done that, but uh, that's why I do the Lamb stuff as soon as I, as I can, because it's just easier. So what we need to do is distract the dog so we can uh, uh, get something from him. Now, why are we supposed to do that? Well, it's for later, but all right, we want to use the VCR that could set to distract him with uh, uh, kitties on parade. Yeah, Miss Piermont is basically just just gabbing right now. So. All right, so we got the dog bowl and biscuits. Little crunchy doggy snacks. If I pick up the bowl, all over my. Oops. Yeah, where's the, there it is. Nothing left in the bowl except spit. Yeah, gross. Alright, so we got ourselves some doggy biscuits here, but we don't have Joey to, uh, uh, uh isolate them yet because we haven't built, uh, uh, built it yet, so I think we're good for now, so. Yeah, you'll be just trying to do that for a while, so. Alright, and uh, I don't think there's anything else, so yeah, we can leave, so. Can we talk to her while she's talking? Excuse me. Won't keep you long, dear boy. Excuse me. Quite so. Won't keep you. Okay, yeah. For some reason, her dialogue doesn't go for voice dialogue, so maybe they didn't voice it for the purposes of other things. <laughs> She'll probably be there for a while. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to know to do this other than just interacting, grabbing stuff, interacting with stuff over other stuff. But we need to put these dog biscuits on this plank here, so. So, because of uh, the dog's rounds and stuff of like that, because we want to get get these bricks off, so. I guess it's one of those cases of uh, 
spatial awareness or something like that. Like, you were aware that the dog will walk over the place, so at some point you need to get the dog to interact with this thing. Unfortunately, it may be... may take a little while. She's supposed to... The dog is supposed to come, like, not long after setting this up, but, uh... Uh, I might uh, cut to when we actually get the uh, dog to appear, so I'll be right back. Oh, there we go. So I finally, the dog finally appeared. Yeesh, it took a hot minute. Now let's see the... Okay, we need to use the rope. Oops. It's attached. Oh. Noise. Where has Spunky gone? <laughs> Officer Blunt, come and help me quickly. <laughs> All right, now we can now we can get inside. So they're gonna try to fish the dog out. So just for a second, you scared me, but you're only dummies. That would actually kind of freak me out, especially if it was just all of a sudden in a dark place like this. Because the thing is, the cathedrals are supposed to be kind of like holy places to, you know, to be protected or whatever. But realistically, a lot of Gothic cathedrals are very creepy, just in general. They're not human. Someone's been making androids. Androids. Everybody loves androids. No one's going to get that reference. They must have switches to activate them somewhere. Damned right. if I'm gonna look for them, though. Probably in the back of the neck or something like that, but... Yeah, so, anyway. Alright. See, so, let's go downstairs. Alright, let me... make a save here. Just to, uh... just in general, just to have a, a backup, so... There aren't any markings on it, or locks. Oh no, not her, not Anita. Yep, uh, for whatever reason, Anita got, I guess, killed and stuffed in a, uh, stuffed in a, uh, uh like a, a locker. Or her whatever. skin is burnt and blistered. Was she, was she, uh, set in a radiation room or something? She appears to have been exposed <laughs> to radiation. I wonder if. Did she walk in there? Oh, she knew better, so she probably was thrown in there by someone. Obviously not Lamb, but maybe security or something like that, so... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Anita's dead, so... Yeah, I, I, it probably was because of us. Well, we didn't do it, but our actions caused her to get tied to it. So yeah, that was kind of a sad thing to find out about. There aren't any markings on it. You thought she would be kind of like a, you know, the typical, like, female important character. Like, maybe she'd make more of an appearance, but no. I guess it just shows the uh, dangers of this world. There's a... Uh, you don't look so healthy. You should get out in the sunshine. Hard to make jokes like that with Anita's body there. His skin is cold, like plastic. There aren't any markings... Oops. This place is spooky. His skin is cold, like plastic. Yeah, another uh, android. There aren't any markings... Oops. Press the wrong button. He doesn't have any eyelashes. His skin is cold, like plastic. There aren't any markings. Oops, gotta stop that. And then that one's just uh, got a head in it. Yo, that's <coughs> horrible. Hey, you, you know that guy you got his eye? Well, I got his head. I don't think a severed head would be any use. Yeah, it's kind of sad that Anita just kind of dies off screen, so, oh well. Like I said, this, this, I mean, this, this is a weird game where it's weirdly humorous and it's, like, anecdotalisms and, like, you know, British tone and everything like that, but then it just gets, but in the background, you know it's a dark world because of everything that happens, so. There could be something useful in there. Wouldn't you know it? It's locked. Of course it is. It's a kind of bed with wheels. The wheels are locked in place. 
Okay, so we can't get what we need right now. The main, the main reason is to find Anita down here. So, all right. So now we actually need to go back to the pipe factory. Uh, you don't have to do this, but we're gonna also uh, uh, we're gonna also check in on Lamb too and ask him about Anita's situation and see what he says, because obviously he's still stuck up on a. Uh, yeah, the, the dog got out and the guard is no longer there, and for whatever reason he doesn't come back to. Uh, he doesn't come back to guard the place, so because we need to come back later. Let's go, uh, go back up to the top floor. Yeah, music. Yay, Anita, uh, Anita died. Woo! Oh, wait. That sucks. Uh, yeah, you know, when I first played this, I thought Anita would be kind of like, you know, kind of like a lot of female characters in the game. She'd be a support character and eventually pop up multiple times, uh, to help us out. But now she only does it, like, the twice, and then she gets killed, so. Hey, Lamb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry about that. What do you know about Anita's death? I don't know what you're talking about. The girl you sent to the reactor. She's been killed, Lamb. Look, I don't know out about murder. You might think I was hard on the lass, but I had nothing to do with her death. How'd you find out about her death, though? Because she's like, you know, you're stuck up here. I guess world, word travels fast. I'm trying to remember if anyone else has any dialogue. I wonder if we could talk to security guys really quick before we go back into the... See if they have anything to say. I don't think they do, but... Never... Yeah. Okay, didn't think so. Oh. As much as this game has, like, a decent amount of dialogue, it doesn't have a lot of react reactory dialogue. You know, people reacting to certain situations, so... Oh, well. Not every game has to have like that, but... I like when games do, just to... It shows, you know, the progression of character eh, interactions with the characters over the course of the game, other than just being stagnant, uh, walking pieces to run into for the purposes of completing the story, so. Alright, so Anita, now that uh, the whole situation with Anita is gone, so now we can uh, mess Excuse with those lockers me. now. Yeah, she had to die so we can get a locker. No, Never mind the from you. Okay. I was just thinking if I want any extra dialogue. I give this game too much credit sometimes, so. Plastic overalls. Not very fashionable. <laughs> okay, apparently we're a rabbit, uh, or a bear, uh, a su uh, uh, uh. I feel an over. Yeah, I think they actually. I think they were all un uh, empty before, but with the. Uh, uh, can we actually interact with this now? Doesn't mean a thing. Okay. To dis but anyway, we want to go inside the reactor. We actually want to open it this time. Well, I mean, we did, but we died when we did that. So. All right. Let's uh, yeah, open up the reactor door. Yeah, no cutscene now that now that we, because we were protected from this. And yeah, the reason the no to go here is because if Anita died from radiation, which means she got stuck in the room, either she got forced in there or she was in there and someone turned it on. Oh, I don't know. Like basically, the power in those things gives me the willies. But basically, she was forced into the room, so. If it wasn't for the heat shield, I'd be frazzled. Because radiation doesn't burn you. All it does is, well, I mean, obviously radiate your skin, but it won't. I mean, radiation poison can eventually liquefy you, but it takes a while for that to happen, if I recall. I don't remember. The power in... If it wasn't for... Okay. Yeah, you would, we'd be dead. I was thinking if there's anything else to interact with in here. But the clue is that be, seeing that she got radiation poisoning or sickness uh, or radiated to death, uh, to know, like, wait... Maybe she'd have a link card, so. It's an ID card, minus the security logo. I know why Forrester isn't too worked up over it, because she only met, he only met her a couple times, but she would have gone out on a date with us. But, you know, she's dead. Now, let's, uh, let's close the, uh, the room.
All right, so now we're done with that, so let's grab our coat. Oh yeah, that one guy, <clears throat> one guy's gone. That was uh, in the coat. No, yeah, we're in the outfit, so, all right. So now, now that we have that, we can now go back to securities now that we have a new uh, car to interact with. So back to link space for us. And let me find a link, before we go there, let me find a link terminal and see if there's anything we can do with the her card before we do that. I was, I kind of wish there was more circumstance, like sting music and stuff like that when she, uh, when she, when you find her dead. It's just kind of, I think it maybe it makes more sense, like realistically makes more sense because it's so cold and analytical. The fact that we just see her body and that's pretty much it. So, all right, Anita Einbeck, D-Link Hostel, Hostel 38 floor, balance of account, zero dollars, link status, zero. All right, let's see if she has anything in her personal goods. I don't think so, if I recall, so, uh. Yeah, these are basically the same, so let me double check though just to make sure. Uh, uh, the club in the park, St. James, when you get there, you'll know you've arrived. St. Club, Hyde Park, Erie 300. Uh, see, that's the same, so. Okay, I think that was the only unique one on that one. Okay, then Union News, I think that's the same too. Uh, Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, grim, find, uh, grim find a recycling plant. The body of security officer Stephen Reich was discovered today in Erie Block Recycling Plant. The murder has been linked to a... Se oh, no. I, actually, I think I read that one before. Never mind. I thought that one was new. But, yeah. So, you only get you only get basically her basic info. So, all right. Let's go back to the D-Link and... Uh, or Link Space and get what's ever on this card. Because every time you get a new card, you can go to Link Space and you'll get new... Uh, New details, but we still you still have to use Reich's card to get in, so because that's the one we've affected with the uh, um, the security unlock. So all right, let's use her card now. Okay, so now uh, with um, with uh, Anita's card, we now get the ability of playback and blind. So, so now you can blind like the eyeballs and stuff like that. So it's now a chance to get past uh, get past these folks in the first place. So we want to blind this eyeball now. Yeah. See, now you can just close it off. Link environment. Uh, see, that's the same either way. Okay. Yeah, there's no real dialogue in this place outside of you know, the interaction, so we just want to, yeah, blind them. Oh, whoops. I forgot you're supposed to be pretty quick about that, so sorry about that. Let's try that again. Yeah, you're supposed to be, like, pretty... Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I have to reset the card again, I think, and everything. But yeah, you have to blind it's the them. link interface, and I... Yeah, you have to like blind him and quickly run inside. Sorry. I thought I clicked on it, but I guess not. So yeah, that one stays. That one stays closed, but the other one doesn't. Okay. Let's see. Whoops. Blind. And then quickly run inside. There we go. Okay. What the crusader? What are, what are knights doing in this place? Right, anyway, let me go ahead. Save. I'll just save the same thing from there. Link Environment Manager, Crusader 38K, Picard and Trout Union Labs. Crusader will guard the system religiously against all known Idus configurations. So yeah, we can't we can't get past them for now, so. So let's go north. Link environment, uh, data storage, 60K, Pro uh, Professor Piermont, Union Labs, personal data space for the use of Link engineers. Use playback to access holographic files. Okay. 
But we don't have any files right now. So we'll come back later. And let's see if we can get this on the first try, so okay. It ah. Okay, let me reset that again. Or let me reload, because yeah, you're trying to get that uh 2D fork. I should we see I wonder if I took too long in that on that. Okay, you reset. So this one stays blind for quite a while, but I was taking too long on uh, what I was doing, so. Because you're supposed to be able to get to that eyeball before it activates and grab that 2D fork item. Yeah, weirdly enough, the eye won't won't uh, destroy you uh, on that one eyeball when you come back. This uh, oscillator V21.2.1 55K Professor Piermont Union Labs range of modulation increased on reference notes version 1.7 due to class 4 variants in leak defense. Right, that okay, now we can leave. Yeah, I just took too long on that one. And for whatever reason, you can't blind the tuning fork or the eyeball from the tuning fork area. Uh, for whatever reason, the AI or the script, like where his walking script is. You have to go back around to turn it off. That's why I didn't do it in that room. So, anyway. Alright, so now we want to uh, play back on that well thing. It's back to you, Rob, if you care for me. You're the only one who can help. I was supposed to make contact with an agent from Hobart. Trouble is, the rendezvous was in a park on ground level. And now I'm a demon if I can't get there. The agent's name is Eduardo. I don't know how you'll get to leave. But beneath the city there are tunnels. The remains of the old subway. That could be all way Now helping us from beyond the grave. I guess she knew that she's probably going to get killed possibly, so... Yeah, it looks like she, even though we, you know, may have caused her to get on the grid, it looks like she was doing stuff anyway because the whole Hobart situation, so security is probably after her anyway, so we just probably exacerbated the whole whole situation here, which, you know, I said it's terrible that that happened, but there's not much you can do on that, so. Whoops, thought I hit the slot there. Okay, well, it seems like our, uh, our journey is a little bit more complicated than realized, and Looks like on our journey to find out more about ourselves and our father, others have gotten in the way and gotten either either inconvenienced or p taken out of the picture. So, but we can't stop our journey because if we do, their sacrifices or deaths will be for nothing. At least we hope not. So, what awaits us on the bottom level? Can we? Uh, can we? Um, uh, can we find? Uh, can we get? Can we get to the bottom of this? And what uh, what awaits us in the subway tunnels if we can make it to that place? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Beneath the Steel Sky. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.